It's something that nearly everyone should do at some point. It is getting some type of heart risk assessment, and those assessments can play a major role in preventing, diagnosing, and treating heart disease. Joining us on today's Heart of the Matter to explain what a heart risk assessment is, is Dr. Chris Inhelmo, cardiologist with the Stern Cardiovascular Foundation. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Inhelmo. Thank you, Joe. Very glad to be here. What is a heart risk assessment? A heart risk assessment uh, can be various things. It can be something as simple as a blood test, a uh, cholesterol check or a glucose check to rule out diabetes, or a blood pressure check. Or it can be something more complex, like a cardiac catheterization in patients who are having severe cardiac symptoms, uh, a procedure where we take a small catheter and take it up to the heart and look for blockages in the arteries of the heart. Who should get a heart risk assessment? Well, Joe, nearly everyone should get a heart risk assessment. The American Heart Association recommends that all uh, people over the age of 20 years old, at a minimum, uh, get a, a blood pressure check and a cholesterol check. Also, if you're having symptoms of heart disease, then more advanced testing or heart risk assessments would be recommended. For example, an echocardiogram or an ultrasound of the heart to look for, the, to determine the structure and function of your heart. Uh, a cardiac catheterization in more severe cases, or a stress test, a non-invasive way to determine if there is obstructive coronary disease. Why should I get a heart risk assessment? Well, heart disease is an epidemic in our country. Over 600,000 people die from heart disease every year. It is the number one cause of death in the United States, both for men and for women. Uh, there is a myth that women don't suffer from heart disease, but it is the number one cause of death in women. Uh, in addition, in this small time that we're together, uh, w every 30 seconds someone is having a heart attack and every minute someone is passing away from heart disease. So it's a very important topic to discuss with your physician. If you can determine what your heart disease risk is and determine what risk factors you have and modify those risk factors, then a large percentage of your risk for heart disease can be taken away and modified so that you can live a long, healthy life without heart disease as a problem. What type of symptoms are we talking about? Well, typical symptoms like chest pain, pressure, tightness, squeezing. Uh, some folks will describe it as an elephant sitting on, your, on their chest or a band-like sensation across their chest. Those are our typical symptoms for cardiac disease, and any, any person who suffers from those symptoms should contact a healthcare professional immediately. But in addition, there are more subtle symptoms. Some folks experience nausea or shortness of breath, or lightheaded or dizziness. And in particular, women tend to have atypical symptoms. So if you have any of the classic or atypical symptoms, uh, those are the things that you should let your healthcare, healthcare professional know. What is the future of heart risk assessments? Well, technology is the future, as well as the present of heart risk assessment. New devices are being developed that allow physicians to take medical care out of the clinic and out of the hospital and take it directly to patients. For example, Recently, there has been the development of an iPhone case, which can record an electrocardiogram right in the patient's hands or by placing it on the patient's chest. This allows for rapid assessment of a patient's rhythm without the need to involve other resources and it allows us to save medical dollars. Uh, ultimately, uh, this is, would be something that could be applied for patients. And it would be very exciting uh, for me if a patient could have one of these devices, they could take this device, put it on their chest, within 30 seconds have an assessment of the rhythm, email it to me, and within five minutes we could have a diagnosis and begin a treatment plan and ultimately get them to the hospital if need be and avoid many of the uh, inherent costs in our current inefficient healthcare system. Dr. Chris Inhelmo of the Stern Cardiovascular Foundation, thank you for joining us today on Smart Medicine. Thank you for having me.